In case you do want to use your WordPress website to integrate your landing page, all you have to do is to download ClickFunnels plugin into your WordPress website. Let's have a look how to do that. So of course you need to be logged into your website and this is just the example website I'm using. So we add new. So when you add a new plugin, just go here and search plugins and type ClickFunnels. And hit enter and you will get the search results. Okay, so here you can see this is made by ClickFunnels.com. So you know that's the right one. And we're going to click install now. And once it's installed, we're going to click activate. And it takes us to the plugin page. And you can see here that ClickFunnels has been installed and it's ready to be used. And you also see you're going to have a new heading on your dashboards. So ClickFunnels has added a new heading on the sidebar. So let's go see what happens. Okay, so one of the first things you need to do is to do go into ClickFunnels and settings. And you need to, again to do the API connection with ClickFunnels. So you're going to need the account email, which is whatever email you use to sign up for the account. So in my case, it was the test account. So we're going to find now the our authentication token from ClickFunnels. So we're looking for API details on ClickFunnels. So let's go into my account and account details. And here you can see it's WordPress API key. So this is what we're going to use and we copy that into the WordPress and save settings. And now you can see we have successfully updated ClickFunnels plugin settings. So we're all good to go. Next step to do is to go to general settings and you need to decide how you're going to display these pages with WordPress. You have three options. You can download and display. You can embed full page iframe or redirect click funnels. Of these options, uh, the easiest are download and display or redirect to click funnels. So for this course, we're just going to use download and display for time being and save settings. Once we have done that, it is time to actually add new page. So we're going to go to add new. And you would, of course, do this after your landing page is ready, but I'm going to show everything in this one video so it's easier. Okay, so you're adding a page, you need to decide what kind of page it is. If it's a regular page, home page or 404 page. In this case, we're building a landing page or sign up page. It's going to be a regular page for this case. Uh, the next thing is we need to choose which funnel is actually going to be used for this page. And it's going to be the click funnels course funnel. You just add it to your account. And you can choose a step and obviously it's going to be the opt-in so that because that is the starting point of the funnel. ClickFunnels URL is only for reference. Let it be as it is. And the custom slug is um, the one you need to type in and make it something. So the last thing is to use the custom slug. So what is going to be the URL for this page? So it's going to be a landing page. So I'm just going to use landing page as the slug. Of course, it should be a little bit descriptive. So it's easier for you to find if you have multiple landing pages. As you can see here, it's changed the URL from learnlands.com into learnlands.com forward landing page. Once that all done, we're just going to save a page. Once we go into the URL, you can see that they've actually picked up the ClickFunnels landing page we've been building up. So everything you need is on here and it's all set up and working and live. So now you can start driving traffic to this URL. So as you can see, it's very simple to connect WordPress and ClickFunnels. So if for all the landing pages, this is by far the easiest way to go. The process gets a little bit more challenging when you add uh, sales pages and all the rest, but it's still um, pretty easy to do.